Source of life gushed forth for the souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, unfathomable divine mercy, and let the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, of our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body Sorrowful passion, 
Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i offer you the body Sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us 
and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful pleasure, have mercy on us and on the whole world. on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world And on the whole world For the sake Of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us And on the whole world For the sake Of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us And on the whole world Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity. Jesus, 
Concluding prayer, eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
video I sent you? Uh, no, not yet. Why? Hey, what are you doing? I'm writing a Christmas affirmation. Really? What's it for? Um, I just wanted to make someone's Christmas meaningful this year. Wow, that's a great idea. How, how can I do the same? Well, Genesis Youths, we are having our Christmas project called Sweet Affirmations, where you can write an affirmation to someone, and on top of that, you can get a sweet surprise. That sounds like a sweet deal. How can I participate? Okay, well, so the youths will be handing out the affirmation cards before mass at the Garden of Mercy and all you need to do is to just write down your message and you can leave it anonymous if you want. And after mass, we will be collecting your cards at the front porch. Okay, then what happens next? Well, we will be handing out the affirmations together with a sweet surprise before Mass on the 24th December 9.30pm and 25th December 9am. Then what about those who won't be at church to write your affirmations? Ah, uh, no worries. You see, we have a Google form where you can submit your affirmations online and the link will be on our Instagram and on our Facebook. I'm glad that everyone can be involved and I can't wait for this project and I can't wait to see you guys too. Yup, let's spread the Christmas cheer together. Bye! Bye. Stand for the NPC. Moses.
we will have the lighting of the Advent candle. The fourth week of Advent, we remember the gift of love we have in Christ. The light of the candles is meant to remind us that the love of the love that God has for us. Jesus shows us God's perfect love. He is God's love in human form. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Together, love, love is patient, love is kind, and, and he is no one. Love, love is never boastful or conceited, rude or selfish. Love is not quick to take offense. It keeps no records of wrongs. It does not gloat over other people's troubles, but rejoices in the right, the good, and the true. There is nothing that love cannot face. There is no limit to its faith, to its hope, to its endurance. Love never ends. As we light this candle, we remember that we are called to love like Christ loves us. As we light this candle, we are reminded that we are called to show that love in the way we treat others. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for the gift of love, shown to us perfectly in the person of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Help us to prepare our hearts for the Lord's coming by loving others as Christ loved us. We ask this in the name of the one born in Bethlehem, Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we step into the fourth Sunday of Advent, the candle of love. As we acknowledge the very gift of Christ and prepare our hearts for the coming of Christ, we also acknowledge our human weakness and limitations and seek God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through, through my fault, through, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, through the incarnation of Christ your Son, was made known by the message of an angel. 
may by his passion and his cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Micah. The Lord says this, You, Bethlehem, Ephrata, the least of the clans of Judah, out of you will be born for me the one who is to rule over Israel. His origin goes back to the distant past, to the days of old. The Lord is therefore going to abandon them till the time when she who is to give birth gives birth. Then the remnant of his brothers will come back to the sons of Israel. He will stand and feed his flock with the power of the Lord, with the majesty of of the name of his God. They will live secure, for from then on he will extend his power to the ends of the land. He himself will be peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. Lord of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hear us. Shine forth. Shine on us and we shall be saved. 
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. This is what Christ said on coming into the world. You who wanted no sacrifice or oblation, prepared a body for me. You took no pleasure in holocaust or sacrifices for sin. Then I said, just as I was commanded in the scroll of the book. God, here I am. I am coming to obey your will. Notice that he says first, you did not want what the law lays down as the things to be offered, that is, the sacrifices, the oblations, the holocaust, and the sacrifices of sin. And you took no pleasure in them. And then he says, Here I am. I am coming to obey your will. He is abolishing the first sword to replace it with the second. And this will was for us to be made holy by the offering of his body, made once and for all by Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. have said be done to me. Oh, 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, Of all women, you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honoured with a visit from the mother of my Lord? For the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made by her, by the Lord, would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, morning, Father. Before I step into my reflections this morning, just want to check with you. Do you have that card with you? If you don't have it, please raise your hands. The youths are waiting to just step up to you. If you don't have that card with you, just raise your hands and the youths will reach out to you. Jika kamu tidak memerlukan kad yang disiapkan di sebelum misa tadi, minta saja dengan orang muda itu. This is question time, exam time. Okay, thank you. We step into the fourth Sunday of Advent, Minggu keempat musim Advent. We have come the full circle, my dear friends. We are entering into the final step, the final stage of this journey. We started off with peace, hope, love, and now it's, sorry, joy, and now it's love. We have come to an experience where we are going to enter into the most, I would say, the height, the climax of this journey, which is love. Kasih sayang Tuhan. Lilin yang dinyalakan dalam musim Edwin yang keempat ini. Kasih sayang Tuhan. Kasih Tuhan. I just was taken aback this morning when I, I found myself reading this text, you know. When you prayed just now, love is patient, love is kind, love envies no one, love is never boastful, never conceited, never rude, never selfish. Love is never quick to take offence, it keeps no record of wrongdoings. It does not gloat over other people's trouble, but rejoices in the truth and what is good. Love has no limit. Love never ends. Kasih itu tidak mementingkan diri sendiri. Kasih itu tidak menegakkan diri sendiri. Kasih itu mementingkan orang lain. Kasih itu tidak sombong. Kasih itu ikhlas. That is what the Lord tells us today. And this whole experience of the love of God takes us into this whole experience this week on the fourth Sunday of Advent. Love. And that's how we find ourselves in this experience of love. I'm going to take you into a journey today and I'm just going to unfold to you some of these beautiful moments of love in the whole experience of the visitation. Bonda Maria Malawati Saudarinia Elizabeth. We take a moment to look at this beautiful scene that was the gospel text today. Two women encountering in a meeting, both women of sanctity in holiness of God. Pertemuan di antara Bunda Maria dengan Elizabeth. There are three things that I would like to share with you this morning. Three things. Tiga perkara yang boleh kita merenung dalam pertemuan ini. The first thing, the most beautiful thing is Mary was not alone. Mary was not alone. She was accompanied by Christ. She carried Christ in her womb. She brought Jesus with her in that journey. Bunda Maria ditemani oleh Yesus. Dia tidak kesorangan. 
Dia bersama dengan Yesus melewati melawati Elizabeth. Tuhan bersamanya, Juruselamat bersamanya. God was with her, and that was the most beautiful thing she did. God brought her that moment to enter into life. She carried the Ark of the Covenant. She carried the tabernacle with her when she went in that journey. The second thing that I would like you to take a moment to look at is at once when Mary heard that Elizabeth was with a child, she immediately got up. The word in scriptures is at haste. At haste, she got up and she ran to the house of Elizabeth. Mendengar tentang berita tentang Elizabeth, bergegas, siap bergegas. Bunda Maria ke rumah Elizabeth. Bergegasnya. At once, she got up and she left for the house of Elizabeth. Many times, we find ourselves carrying ourselves, not carrying Jesus. We speak a lot about ourselves to others. We don't speak about Jesus to others. And sometimes we don't want to move from that comfort zone to reach out to others. We live in isolation in our own comfort zones and we tell ourselves, I'm happy where I am. But Mary stood out and she left at once to see to the needs of Elizabeth. And the third and the most beautiful thing that happened in that visitation was this. Both women was filled with joy. Both women was filled with joy. Saat dan detik pertemuan Bunda Maria dan Elizabeth penuh. Terlonjak-lonjak kegirangan. Penuh dengan berkat Tuhan dan berkat kepenuhan roh kudus. Pertemuan, detik pertemuan mereka. The moment they met, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. They were filled with joy. Elizabeth cried out and said, The moment your greetings reached me, Mary, the child in my womb leapt for joy. And Mary in return said, My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit. That's the whole experience of joy. I'm saying this to you because to touch love is to touch the love of God. That's all I want you to know today. When you have experienced the love of God, you will find the love of one another. Detik kita dapat bertemu dengan Tuhan, kita dapat bertemu dengan saja dengan sesatu. Sebab kasih Tuhan tu bersama kita, berserta kita. The love of God is so much in us. All you need to do is to pour out that love. St. John of the Cross says, when you can pour that love to someone, that love will return to you. Bila kita sedia mencurahkan kasih itu antara satu dengan yang lain, Kasih itu balik kepada kita Because love begets love Love gives love That is what happened in the visitation Why I'm saying this to you this morning is very important Of this language of love Dalam bahasa cinta atau bahasa kasih It's very important A few days ago The youths gathered together and they were asking me Father, we want to do a little short exercise there are many of this youth's father during this pandemic and COVID time. We felt ourselves so broken in emptiness. We had to face our parents. There were a lot of tension at home. There were a lot of frustration. Our parents were quarreling. House was in a whole state. We needed to do something, Father. And when we reached out to one another, we told, let's, let's, let's strengthen one another this time. Let's give love to one another this day. Without a doubt, my dear friend, without any hesitation, this pandemic has shattered many of us in its moments. Many of us have gone through it. I'm not afraid to say this to you. Marriages have collapsed. Family life has broken down. People have gone into isolation. They have numbers of people who have even attempted suicide. They have lost everything. Everything has collapsed in their life. Terutama di dalam musim saat pandemic ni, Kesunyian, kesulitan hidup, kesunyian, kekosongan, penuh. Tiada erti lagi. We all struggle in these moments. And it was a very painful moment for many of us. Some of us even lost our jobs, lost our life. We came to a dead end. We felt ourselves at the end of the rope. 
We just didn't know what all to hang on to. And this wonderful group of young people, the youths of the parish, the Genesis Youth Movement, they said, Father, we want to do something for one another, for the youths. They wanted to affirm one another. They wanted to just build that strength to one another in the youths. So they came up with this card. They called it the affirmation card. And then someone says, Father, can I open it up to the parish? Can I help one another in this parish to love one another in this moment? Let's strengthen one another, Father, for this moment. And that's what they came up with, this affirmation card. These cards, my dear friends, this morning, you're going to write a word, a little sentence, to someone out there whom you do not know, but you could picture that person at this moment. That individual, that person could be in a pain. And maybe you could say, you're not alone. I am with you. I keep you in my prayers. I mean, I love you for the love of God. Love is kind. Just write a word. Sepatah kata, sepatah utusan yang dapat memperkukuhkan, memperkuatkan lagi kehidupan mereka. Terutama di detik ini. And these cards that you're going to write on, my dear friends, will be collected this morning after Mass when you step out. The youths will be at the foyer at the entrance and they will collect these cards from you. And do you know what they're going to do with these cards? They're going to hang it on that Christmas tree outside the entrance. And when everyone walks on Christmas night and Christmas morning for Mass, they will take one card. And that will be their Christmas message for Christmas. That will be their message. I'm just going to invite you this morning, my dear friends, even those at home, you're not alone. If you feel that you have to write to us and that letter will be given back to you, no worries, we'll tell you about it later in the announcement. I'm just going to invite you for a minute, just be a silent in a minute. If you could visualize, you could picture of someone Seseorang dalam kehidupan kamu, dalam saat ini, in this moment, who is going through this pain. Maybe you have gone through it. I just met a wonderful lady just two days ago when I went to anoint her and give her communion. She was in pain. She has not seen her children for the longest time. So I'm going to invite you in this one minute in silence. Just write an affirmation message. Just write a message of love. A message to someone who can touch you. And that message will be given to that person when that person walks into Christmas morning and Christmas Eve Mass. Let us enter into this moment of prayer. If you need a pen, just cry out or shout out to the youths.
If you need the time, you could have it during the announcements and after mass. You could continue to write those little notes, pesan atau utusan kepada mereka yang mencari ilham supaya diperkukuhkan pertalian dan kehidupan mereka. You take some time at the end of the mass, and the youths will collect them at the end. We now stand to renew our faith in God and the Church. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and it became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess on baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we patiently await the coming of Christ our Lord, let us offer our prayers this morning and our petitions with hope, with anticipation. The Lord hears and responds to the cry of His people. Our response Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church leads all people to share in Mary's holiness, humility, and obedience of faith, so that our hearts too may leap for joy in recognition of Jesus Christ. We humbly pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Prince of Peace, whose throne is eternal, guide world leaders to work for human dignity and care for the poor and vulnerable. We humbly pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who are lonely, afraid, and facing sickness, unemployment, hunger, and grief, receive strength to trust in God's plan and the help of our community. We humbly pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our soon to be baptized, Isabel Te Wei Lin, and Diana Wang Yufei will be guided by their parents, godparents, and parish community to continuously trust and journey with our Lord Jesus. We humbly pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we be given the grace to turn away from the selfish consumption of resources meant for all and understand the impact of our choices on the poor and vulnerable. We humbly pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That each of us will encounter Christ this Advent as we now pray in silence for our own intentions and the intentions of those who have asked for our prayers.
we humbly pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal God, in the words of the prophets, your promise is spoken. Teach us to welcome Jesus, the promised Emmanuel, to proclaim the good news of his coming, so that at every age we may know him as the source of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Together we pray the prayer for the sign up. We stand, stand before you, Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as we, we gather together, together in your name. name. With, With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach, Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor our partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify this gift laid upon your altar, just as he filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
as we step into the prayer phase and to the Eucharistic prayer, I invite you to pray for what lies in your heart. We pray for Isabel Tay and Diana Wang, who will be baptized this morning. We pray for the sick, for those who are in hospitals at home, those who are in institutions. I also invite you this morning to pray for all those who have become victims of the floods these past days, those who have been evacuated, those who have lost their lives and homes and belongings. And we also pray for the souls in purgatory. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. To your Son, Jesus, our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that we may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in praise. And so, Father, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and power of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy this gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving you thanks, Father, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We believe this prayer and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our husband, the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Father, listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed sisters and brothers and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world, all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, please, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. We'll take this moment to offer that peace to one another. Peace be with you. Salam damai. Oh, 
takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a child, and his name will be called Emmanuel. We now invite Catholics to receive Holy Communion.
will be a second collection for the parish building fund. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever nearer, we too may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity. He who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Just be seated for some parish updates and announcements. To begin with, if you are here for the first time in CDM, Kalo Kalipratama Kegreja CDM, could you kindly stand? We'd like to welcome you. Dengara Samalu, if you are here for the first time, welcome. Selamat datang. Just a, a number of important announcements for the week. I begin with the Christmas mass schedules. Schedules. Jadual waktu misa untuk hari Christmas dalam malam Christmas sudah diagihkan. It's already out there. All right. So kindly take note. The the registration has started yesterday. The online event bright registration has started, and it looks like it's coming to almost full. So I'm just inviting you that if you feel that you get into and you realize it's filled up and it's full and you can't get in, no worries. The doors are always open. All right? We'll find a space for you. Jika dalam kesempatan untuk register, kamu rasa sudah penuh dan tidak besar untuk masuk ke dalam website itu, jangan risau, jangan rasa bimbang. Datang saja. Ya, pintu gereja siap dibuka untuk semua orang. Ya, pada malam Christmas dan hari Christmas. Secondly, I just want to speak about the Gotong Royong yesterday. It took me by surprise. Despite the fact that it was pouring, and it was rain, it was a wet day, I was surprised to see the number of people that turned up. Close to 50, 60 people were here in the morning just to do the cleaning up. 
I just want to thank all those who made themselves available. The only sad thing that I felt that you didn't clean my room. You know, you left my room out. So thank you for making yourself available for the parish Gotong Royong, right? Thank you. The Mercy Serve team. As you know, this year we have been stepping into the wall of mercy and in reaching out. Saya cuma mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada semua yang terlibat dalam rencana Mercy Wall, you know. It was very good. It was really something that I couldn't, I just couldn't believe. We reached out to close to numbers and numbers of people. And this day, on this Sunday, it's the last day. We closed the door for the Wall of Mercy in the reaching out. When I sat down with the finance team yesterday, I just realized that over $92,000 went out just in distribution during the Wall of Mercy. And I would like to thank you, each one of you, for all your contribution, both in cash and kind, for making this dream possible. Not forgetting the team, the Mercy team, who worked tirelessly. Every week they met without fail to ensure that everyone was seen to. So on behalf of the parish, I want to thank the team and I want to thank each one of you. Thank you and kudos for what you have done. God bless you. <laughs> Finally, with regards to this beautiful affirmation card, as you step out of the parish this morning, the youths will be out there to collect the little cards that you have with you leaving behind that little short word of message for those, you know. Okay, you got it. Thank you. I thought I was running one by one, you know. So this sweet affirmation cards, which you will leave at the foyer or any of the entrance with the youths, these will be collated and will be on the Christmas tree. And when you come for Mass, you have no idea who wrote it and where it's coming from. But you will have a card and will leave behind a message for you. And that will be your Christmas message. A word from someone to affirm you in the midst of this on Christmas Day. To you wonderful people at home, there may be a search, there may be a desire to write something. Please, the youths have said it in the video and they will list it out in their Twitter account or in their Instagram account or their Facebook account. The youths have all the accounts. You could reach out to them and you will receive a note from them. Uh, a little message from Christmas on them. I just have this to say to you, to the young people, to the youths here. I, I sat back last night after the, the evening sunset mass, and I want to tell you young people who came about this idea, I love you and I'm proud of you. I am so proud of you. To come up with this beautiful idea, not only for yourself, but for everyone in the parish, I not only thank you, I salute you for your love, your care, and your concern for others. God bless you, youths. As you prepare yourself for Christmas, my only words is take care of yourselves. Keep safe. And if you are traveling, have a pleasant trip back home to your family and loved ones. And always remember, the joy of Christmas and the love of Christmas is all about family. Have that blessed moment with your loved ones. All right? Kindly stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a pleasant weekend and God bless. Same to you, Father.